Every day is a beautiful day to fly, especially when you have a pelican from Halo, baby. This is Master Chief's plane. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is a brand new free DLC that just dropped, and uh, today we're going to check out the pelican. Take a look at this thing, man. This is so sick. We are out here in New Zealand. I felt like this was about to as close to an otherworldly airport as you could find just here on the coast of, uh, I, I don't even know where we are, but uh, yeah, this this is going to be sick, man. So let's, uh, let's get this thing started up. We're going to turn on our wing lights, strobes, beacons. Let's turn on our main generator, master battery, avionics. We're going to get our, uh, our ox generators on as well. And uh, here we go. This is the cockpit of a pelican. You guys can see we've got our little control stick over here. We've got our thrust here. I believe we can release our parking brake as well. This is our, you know, kind of like main screen here, I guess you could call it. We've got our map, our vision, our cam vision, which we don't currently have available. We can leave that there. We also have, uh, there's a, a radio, engine info fuel info and uh yeah so it's i mean it's a fully functioning cockpit now one of the most interesting things is this button right here so this is your flight mode this thing is essentially like a helicopter and a plane mixed the engines on the outside which there's four of them there's one here one here and then there's two more on the other side these will articulate so when you're taking off you can go straight up and then you can switch it to flight mode and uh you can you know pretty much just fly like a normal plane so yeah this thing is uh is pretty sick i'm excited to check this out and i say we just go ahead and you know kind of get it started a little bit let's get a nice view outside of the plane here and we're gonna go ahead and increase our power to the engines just a little bit we are in that hover mode so you guys can see here if we decrease we're gonna start falling back to earth we can increase and that's kind of how you take off there now we can retract our landing gear which is is pretty Pretty sweet, dude. Look at this. We've got one wheel on the front, and then two kind of like arms that go back and forth in the back. And uh, then, like I said, when we press X, it goes into plane mode. We press it again, it goes back to hover mode. So, uh, pretty, pretty sweet little aircraft, man. When we're in hover mode here, we kind of stay pretty, you know, flat to the ground, nice and perpendicular. But we can go into plane mode, and uh, this is where things can get a little bit crazy. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna take this thing through the jungles of New Zealand. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to be honest, this plane is very easy to fly. This thing is responsive AF. Holy cow. And I'm imagining if we switch to hover mode, we could probably, let me, let me get this warning switch here. If we switch to hover mode, we could probably save any, any bad situation that we're in. We're getting close to the trees there. But yeah, like if we, if we come around this way, let me, let me test this out. We're going to lose all of our speed. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch us around so we're upside down, all right? We're upside down here. If we hit the hover mode, it's gonna auto fix us. And then with this, we can just go straight up or straight down. So if we let's let's try to find I'm gonna go back into play mode. We're gonna try to find like a clearing. Maybe the river that I see over here on our, our left. This thing just feels otherworldly because you've got those four engines, they've got pretty much unlimited thrust. It I feel like we've got plenty of uh you know, safety measures here, but I'm gonna see, let's see if we could land, ooh, I see a nice clearing over there, that big white patch near the river. We're gonna see if we can put this, put this thing down on it. Now we probably don't wanna come in too hot. I don't really know how the brakes work. Let me get back outside here and let's see. I wanna see, let's go ahead and put our landing gear back down. I don't, oh, oh, we're coming down now. We're coming down, we're coming down. Let's go, baby. This is a beautiful area. Now, we don't want to come down too, too fast. Now, it, it keeps trying to, it keeps trying to power up on me. I've got the throttle all the way down, but it's like it doesn't, it doesn't want to land. We don't want to come in too hot, though. And we don't want to hit the trees. Okay. Yep. Back this up. Maybe a little, yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a tree. That's okay, though. And just, just like that, we are back down on the ground. I mean, this. This is about as idiot proof as you could possibly get in a in a, a vehicle that flies. Vehic I was gonna say flight ve vehicle. I, I don't know. Dude, this thing is sick. Look at this. Look at this river in New Zealand. Get some like plants on the side. That yeah, this this is a pretty 
Magnificent beast. All right, let's let's uh, let's take this up and actually go for a flight. Up we go. Landing gear up. We're going to swap right over to the flight mode and let's let's get after it. Dude, there's so much power. Like, I, if, if I want to be able to, to nose down, we've got to back off the power. This thing doesn't doesn't want to crash. It doesn't want to go back towards the earth. It wants to point up towards the skies and get up to space, which we will talk about in a second. I did see apparently there, there are problems with actually getting this thing up into space. So, I mean, obviously you need to get some some crazy altitudes and we've done it in the Dark Star with the uh, the Top Gun Maverick DLC. But apparently this thing, I don't, I don't think it'll actually fly to space, which would be really sad. But uh, I mean, to be honest, it kind of, it kind of feels like we're out on a different planet right now. Let me get outside of this thing and take a look at how she's performing. Dude, this is insanity. We could be on some faraway planet that's got like water. We've got frozen ice on top of the mountains and things. No people or anything, no signs of any cities. Just a barren planet out here. Do a full barrel roll. Dude, look at those things. So technically we've got six engines because we've got those thrusters on the bottom. That's what's helping me out. We are not in the hover mode right now, but those things are making sure that this thing stays as even, as flat, and as safely above the ground as possible. These these guys under here, you guys see them? The, the little ones on the bottom? We've got four of them. I guess they could help us descend too. Let's go back down. Dude, this is insane! <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hit the ground. Oh, yep, just just uh, <clears throat> just a little bounce didn't didn't hurt anything, okay? It's not a big deal. Now I've got to switch back to hover mode here. We're ascending just slightly, and uh, I wanna hit this button right here, the cargo door. Yes, you heard that right. You can actually move around this thing and actually operate the doors and things. So we can go over here, we can hit this keypad, that's gonna open up this. It takes us to our second little area in here. Looks like we've got, you know, some little stowage compartments, some coat racks and stuff. Maybe you wanna, you know, take your helmet off. Looks like this is some sort of a pad that we might, I don't think it's actually interactable. We've got this thing here. Dude, the detail that they've got going on. Now we can open this up. And look at this, dude. The cargo bay door is actually open. And that, my friends, is New Zealand right there. So back here in the cockpit, you guys can see if we if we hit this button, that thing closes up. We're gonna hit it again. And it's gonna open back. Dude, how so you can see how the, the thing folds and everything. We actually I mean we should try taking a look at it from the outside too but this is just incredible this would give you the view if you were like a spartan soldier or something arriving on a different planet getting dropped off by master chief this is just insane dude looks like we're about 16,000 feet thus far let me actually let me let me do that so we're going to reset back into here let's go ahead and close this thing and then i'm going to open it and i'm going to switch to outside so let's make sure we've got a a good view of this thing outside. I feel like that's kind of a cool view. All right, so let's uh, hit this button. Wow, dude, that is this is insane. The the level of detail that they've got going on here is just insane to me. You could see all the jets and things. This is absolutely unreal. So yeah, we're ascending here. You guys can see we're at about 23,000 feet. I'm thinking what we do is let's just try to stay in this hover mode. I mean, we're still going up pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna give it full beans here. All the engines are at 95%. Uh, we'll see how high we can go. And then we'll go into flight mode, see if we can go any higher. The thing with the, the Dark Star is we were able to get up to higher mocks. And I just, I don't think there's any way that you can do that. Look at this too, with the sun peeking out and everything like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if we, if we go in here, I mean, I was, I was messing around with some of these. You've got your communications here. You've got your nav where you can, you know, pre-program like the autopilot and things like that. Um, like I said, engine info, fuel info, things like that. But I don't, I don't see on the 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 Dark Star. There was kind of like the thing where you go up to ten thousand, you invert, you do the roll. You've got your, you know, mock meter and stuff. There's no mock meter in this thing. This is obviously an alien spaceship. I feel like it doesn't struggle with going that fast. But 
I just don't know if it's actually a feature in the game. Looks like we're up to uh, about 30,000 feet already. MFD brightness, that's just going to be the, the brightness of these displays. So we definitely want that all the way up on all of these. And you can, we type like 117. Is that going to do anything? Panel lights? I don't really see... Dude, there's so m Oh! Is this playing the Halo music? Radar map, we can see the cam... Dude, look at that! That's incredible! Can we turn this thing? If we turn... What? Let me, let me close the thing. Da -da -da -da! Dude, no way. This, look at the camera on this thing. It's seeing through the clouds. We're, we're out in the clouds right now. Kind of. But it's seeing right through them. Oh. You've even got the music outside of the plane. Sounds a little bit better. Sounds like it's coming out of a stereo in here. Dude, that is so sick. Oh my goodness. Let me check all these. We've got anti-ice engine, windshield de-ice and things. Yeah, I, I mean, I've double checked over this thing a million times and it's it's just not there. We're full throttle right now and I believe we are stuck at 30,000 feet. Okay, I cut the music just so we can, we can hear the engines and things a little bit better. Let's switch this to our flight mode and we're gonna see, let's keep an eye on this here. So our altitude's dropping. If we if we pitch up, the, the problem is... So if we swap to the flight mode here... We're into flight mode. Now we have full control. Let me see... I want to get our engines all the way up. Let's see if we can get up above 30,000 feet. I don't think we're going to be able to. I think it might be too heavy. So unless there's... I'm trying to watch our airspeed. We need to keep our airspeed at 96. We're climbing here. Airspeed's climbing. We might actually... Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, nope. Airspeed's going back down. We're still climbing. We're above 30,000. It just might be a slow, painful climb. We might have to set our trim tabs. But to be honest, as we get higher, I think our airspeed's going to stop, start dropping. This is obviously a, a big, heavy airplane. So to ask this thing, we're pitched up pretty high. To ask this thing to try to exit the, uh, the what's it called, is, is gonna be pretty tough. Let me see. I wanna try. We're trimmed up too much, too much, too much. I'm trying to trim us to the point where we're gonna keep gaining altitude, but we're not gonna lose our airspeed. I don't think there's any quick way out of the, let's keep it nice and level, out of the, the What's it called? But it looks like this is actually working here. Okay. So it, it might just be a slow and steady, steady pace. But we'll, we'll see how this goes. We are, we are pitched up about 20 degrees, just under 20, maybe like 17. We're gaining altitude fairly quickly and our, uh, it's starting to drop. Our airspeed is starting to drop. See, we don't want that. We can maybe pitch down just a little bit, pitch down to like 10 degrees. Let's get this thing all evened out. Pitch up just a little bit. I am, I just realized I didn't change my camera angle. I am on my, my thing, by the way. So, Pilot pilot T. Martin is in, in full force. Shoot, I should have had the camera down low where you guys can see it. It's a little bit more fun, but it's okay. You guys get the gist. Ooh, we don't want to go up too much. I mean, this this is actually kind of working, I think. We We'll see how high we can go. I heard people were struggling with getting out of the stratosphere, and it, I, I, I mean, it's, it's working here. Little update, we're doing okay, want to keep it nice and even with the ground, it's Using your instruments is so much easier than trying to figure it out in real life. It looks, it, or, you know, I'm not real life, but outside of the plane. Looks like we're still gaining altitude. Our, our airspeed is staying decent. 
So as long as we're hovering around this 10, you know, it, it does kind of fluctuate, so we have to make minor adjustments, but um, we should start getting there. Now, I, I don't know where, like, the sub-stratosphere starts, but uh, hopefully it's not going to take us too long. I, I don't know if we're going to stay in New Zealand by the time we get there, but we'll see. literally just chilling here like on Twitter talking to you guys uh, just post a video on this while this is happening I'm gonna be really upset if it comes out that this has you know some sort of a hyperspeed button where you can just instantly get out of the, the thing um, we're, we're climbing slowly but surely we are climbing so we'll, we'll see how far it lets us take it from what I've seen in, in videos and articles and things nobody has really figured it out yet so there, there could be some sort of an Easter egg maybe you type in some you know Master Chief 117 Morse code or something on this thing and then you get to activate the hyperdrive, but uh, we're, we're just gonna do it the, the old-fashioned way. Okay, it looks... Let me... Oh, well, that'll do it, Trev. We need to even this thing out. Ooh, let me let me check the the chem vision. Looks like we're coming back to the ocean here. So we we got a little off track on our you can't just leave it. You can't you can't just leave it. We got a little off track on our, our heading there and we, we started losing altitude, but it looks it looks like we're okay. I have noticed our altitude isn't going up as fast. But we really Got to keep this thing nice and even. It's not going up as fast, and our our engine, our airspeed is is slowing. Ooh, ooh, we might be. We're descending. We're descending. Okay, that means we're gonna want to uh, to trim up a little bit more to be able to keep our altitude going up. But that means we're gonna lose airspeed. It's not like we have any more power to give. You guys can see our angle of attack there is is not doing well. Airspeed's gonna start dropping. We're at 15% trim. I'm gonna go down to 14% shoot. I think 50,000 feet might be our limit. And we obviously are, I mean, we're not, we're not quite, quite there, but we're getting close. Yeah, we're losing, so we're gonna have to trim up if we wanna be able to keep this altitude. And that's, you guys will see as we, as we start to gain more altitude, pull up just a little bit sure we're even inside yeah we look pretty good there as we're gaining altitude here we're gonna start losing airspeed we're gonna get under the, the airspeed that we need to be able to keep a uh, a climb going under 96 here yeah dude this is it about 47,680 so we got up there I mean we we got high we're about as high as Snoop Dogg right now unfortunately I don't think we can actually get up into space but there is something we can do i did look this up as well so if we um what buttons did i set up for this i forget i think it's this we're gonna go into our skew mode and i i could just manly manually move the the plane up there you guys can see it's it's getting dark we're going up to space let's see how high it's gonna let us go about twenty-seven thousand five hundred feet or 275,000 feet i think it is yes this is space but once we're up here, I don't think we have much in terms of, oh gosh, we're just, we're, and I'm free, free falling. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, this is insane. Let me go inside. Let me take a look at the map here. Let me see this cam vision. Can we turn? Oh, we, we can turn a little bit. Creepy sounds coming from the plane. Holy cow, we are so high up right now dude this is insanity what happens can i switch to if i switch to hover mode it's it's not gonna pitch us up though hmm interesting oh it's she's trying to get there she's <laughs> we're just free falling back to earth this this is now we are no longer in a pelican we are in a comet this is the, I, I i can't i can't gain control this is not good this is this is what it would look like if you were about to die free falling back to earth at a oh 
I think we leveled out. Did we level out? Oh, cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's how you get to space. You got to use the skew commands. I don't I don't think there's really really any other way of doing it. Let me turn towards the sun, dude. This is so sick. Flying up in space and Master Chief's Pelican. If there's a way to activate hyperdrive or anything like that, we will definitely check that out in the future. This is all still new. People are still figuring it out. If you guys happen to know, feel free to leave a comment down below. But uh, yeah, this, my friends, is the new Pelican DLC here in Microsoft Flight Sim. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see some more Flight Sim videos, let me know. Next time, I'll be sure to have the camera so you can actually see my controller again. I apologize for that. But uh, anyway, thank you guys again. Catch you all later. Peace out.